Hi guys, uh, this is Bree. Uh, I'm at my house in Amagansett. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make a zine today. Uh, something we're calling the Corn Zine. So all you're gonna need for this is a piece of paper, any size, a rectangle is the best. So a computer piece of paper for your printer or a slice pulled out from your sketchbook. Um, anything will work. Um, I have a pair of scissors, or a scissor, and um, my favorite utensil. Um, today I have a Sharpie. This isn't my favorite utensil to make marks with, but, um, but I like how it writes on this paper. And I have a couple different colors. Um, I got this nice pink one. I've got a green Tombow brush marker that I'm gonna use. Um, and my favorite pen, which is the Uniball Vision Elite. You can get these babies at Staples. Um, but really you only need one thing uh, to make a mark and one thing to cut with and one thing to cut. Okay, so what we're looking for is eight equal parts. So first, um, I'm working on this mat right here. Um, so you can see, because I have a white table and a white piece of paper, and I don't want them to get lost. So first we're just going to um, fold in half this way. And what we're gonna do next is open it up, and we're gonna fold it in half the opposite way. So right now you're gonna have four equal parts. And what I love about zines is this is a blank um, canvas for you. This is a place that has no rules. You can put whatever you want into this zine. Um, and the other cool thing about zines is it's a great way to share information really quickly and easily with your friends. Uh, if you have a scanner and a printer or a copy machine, you can run off 100 zines in you know, two minutes and fold them up and pass them out to all your friends for a very small price. So what we're gonna do now, it's a little, it's hard to see, but we have this and we have this. And next, you're going to take one side and you're going to fold it into that center line that we have. This is the horizontal, um, it's aligned horizontally here. And then you're gonna do the same on the opposite side. So when you unfold this, you're going to have eight equal parts. There we go. So we see that. So beautiful and crisp and white. I'm just like ready for you to put things on top of. We're almost done, but this is the trickiest part, my friends. Okay, so you're gonna fold the piece of paper in half right here. So, bam. And I'm gonna get close for this one. So this is where we're gonna need our scissors. Now, the seam side here, this is what we're going to cut along. And we're going to cut from this outside seam just into the center, okay? So I'm gonna show you. So we still have our open side here, but you have now cut, so you have this opening. And next is where this magic all comes together. So you are going to flip the paper like a little tent, seam side up, and these two pieces should just kiss together. It's like, all right. And all of a sudden now it's come together like this thing. You see this shape? How beautiful is that? And you're gonna flatten it and then you're gonna fold it. So, I'm gonna do this again one more time for you guys. Open your page up. We have a full sheet here. Fold it over, create that space, kiss it together. Bam, just like that. All right, I'm gonna fill this thing in now.
post-its at home um, that I keep in my studio and um, and I write a lot of notes on them and put them on the wall and on my fridge. You can see one of those green ones over there. But these ones are smaller than the regular size and they actually fit perfectly in the center of these pages. Um, so I love this as a, um, if you wanna add some color. This is my corn zine by Brie. Today I made bread. I think my yeast is bad. The bread tastes delicious, but it didn't rise very much. This is my scribbly scribble. Oh, food, soup, sleep, and water. All things I've been doing a lot of. Love you guys, see you soon. Okay, I'm sitting here and I just finished my zine video and I was thinking about all the zines that I've made and I realized I missed something I, I think is really important in a zine. So we have our finished one page zine right here, but there is a completely unutilized side of your paper that I feel like is good to utilize. It's sort of like a little gift and surprise to whoever you give your zine to. So I am gonna draw something um, big and then I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like. <laughs> have this sort of other side to tell a bigger story or show an image or share a secret message. Um, so I hope you utilize this and I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I could sit at this table in my kitchen and um, make zines all day. And um, please upload uh, pictures or small videos of your zines. I'd really love to see them. I know Guildhall would love to see them. And um, stay tuned for some more great art videos. Okay, bye. Thank you for being part of our Art Break project. Please consider supporting Guildhall through subscribing to our YouTube page, following us on social media, or donating on our website. Your support will help us bring more creativity your way and ensure our success when we reopen our doors to you.